There were more than 750 non fatal shootings last year in Milwaukee, and we're on pace to surpass that number this year. Yeah, but whether you live in Milwaukee, Greenfield or Oak Creek, each and every one of these shootings will impact you. The I team shows us how the pull of a trigger starts a chain reaction of events that are costing Wisconsinites billions every year. I can always feel the metal, but all this is numb. The nerves got shot out, so all this I can't feel anything in here. A single bullet can cause years of physical and financial pain. He shot into the car. Uh, the bullet hit me in my jaw, uh, shot in my jaw. But that's where it went in, right over here, and this is where it came out. The documentary When Claude Got Shot detailed Claude Motley's story seven years ago while visiting Milwaukee from North Carolina for a high school reunion. A 15 year old shot Claude one time during a carjacking. Yeah, I've had over 12 surgeries. By the time the death settled, I was over $100,000 in debt. All told, this shooting put Claude over $134,000 in medical debt. And when you factor in the lost wages, travel to and from North Carolina, even the time he put in studying for the bar exam, may be impossible to tell how much this impacted him financially. But he's not the only one paying for this shooting. You are. You pay for the judges, you pay for the prisons, you pay for the police, and you pay for all of that stuff. So it does happen to you. You don't think it might be happening, but it's happening to you every single day. All of these costs from one bullet add up. From law enforcement investigating and processing the scene, EMTs providing life-saving measures, all the way through the criminal justice process. At this point in the process, a single bullet is already worth over $15,000. But the real costs come in when someone's held accountable. The teen who was found guilty of shooting Claude was sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison. By the time he gets out, Wisconsin taxpayers will be on the hook for over $450,000. And that's only the beginning. There are hard costs and then there are costs that you can't measure. Reggie Moore is the director of violence prevention policy and engagement at the Medical College of Wisconsin. He says the ripple effects of a shooting can impact potential future earnings for the victim and can affect the surrounding community, possibly decreasing home property values, less support for local businesses, and preventing new jobs from coming in. This should be a top priority for our civic leaders, for the state, and for the federal government and our entire community to say we should be doing everything possible to ensure that we reduce and eliminate gun violence in our city. It's having a disparate financial impact on the black community. The pandemic led to a spike in non-fatal shootings in Milwaukee, jumping 69 percent from 2019 to 2020. Now consider the racial disparity with non-fatal shootings. In the last three years, more than eight out of every 10 non-fatal shooting victims in Milwaukee are black. Factor in Milwaukee having the worst racial wealth gap in the country, where the median African-American household income in Milwaukee is under $30,000. That's four and a half times less than Claude's medical bills. That, that takes the stability out of their, their lives, and it, and, it, and it just radiates throughout. It's why 414 Life continues to try to prevent retaliatory shootings before they start. Derek Rogers with 414 Life says they've stopped nearly 170 incidents since 2018. The numbers are bad. They could have been much worse. People can't imagine the possibilities. They can't see anything different. Um, it makes it difficult for them to plan for the future because they're constantly dealing with the day to day of will we be here tomorrow? Claude's tomorrow is filled with positive change with his wife working as an attorney and Claude working with her at the law firm. They're trying to make sure situations like his don't happen anymore. We need to look at the changes upstream. We need to look at what is causing people to pick up guns, what is causing people to actually uh, feel that violence is a way of life, a way to get the th things that they need. And we need to start to say, hey, listen, we have to pay attention to their needs earlier on. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.